They didn't recognise the accent of the North at all. It was as though they'd never heard of it. Fine, but uh, have you ever stopped to think that nowadays in films... Not, anyway, uh, Billy pretended he had been born and brought up in Canada, and when he went for interviews, accent. So not only did the busking help me a great deal, the actual time off helped me a great deal because I finally made up my mind that I would, in fact, go into pictures. A visit to the film's Belfast premiere. His performance as an Irish spy so impressed executives at 20th Century Fox that they offered him a seven-year contract. Released in December 1959, it made millions at the box office and made Stephen Boyd a major Hollywood star. I can't imagine... On the big screen in the, those theatres, it's just fantastic. Now that you have some money to spend, what sort of things do you like to spend it on? Well, the first thing that I wanted to do was try to get my mother and father into some sort of comfort for the first time in their life. And I finally managed to buy them a house uh, in my hometown in Belfast in the north of Ireland uh -huh. and uh, see that they were all right financially for quite some time to come. Stephen, and our my Uncle Billy, was very good to my granny and granda. He bought such a big movie, you know. Masala is on the screen for, apart from the chariot race, for approximately 27 minutes in a four-hour film. And, uh, yes, and, uh, you know, the reaction has been quite, quite, quite extraordinary. <laughs> Done just incredible things to my career. When I did Hallelujah, and if I don't, well, it's tough. So he was never that gung-ho, ambitious for his career to be a major star. Uh, my only reason, you know, for, for doing this thing is just simply that... Uh, well, it's work. I don't mind working Timbuktu or anywhere, you know. I've found, for me, working with actors from Ireland and the UK, there's a, a, a much stronger work ethic than the American actors have. They're much more interested in 